A big part of marketing is getting the right message in front of the right people. And so one of the first things we ask our clients or potential clients before we bring them on is, what is the ideal customer that you're trying to attract? Uh, it's also known as, as customer persona. So for instance, if you say things like, if you're uh, a plumbing company and you say, anyone with a toilet is my customer, that's, that's not defining your customer. I know that sounds silly, so, so bear with me here. So take that plumber, for instance. Well, if you live in an apartment or you rent your home, typically you're not the one calling the apartment and so or the uh, the plumber so in this case anyone with a toilet that is not fit that that person now if you are trying if you're a plumbing company and you're trying to get uh corporate accounts commercial accounts then apartment complexes and things of that nature would be your your customer persona so you would start with you have to own the home because that's the person that's going to call the actual plumber even if you run a house typically you're calling your landlord so for our company uh, market with mario not every business owner or every business is a good fit for our particular strategy so i don't go out saying oh any business owner will do uh, we have certain criteria that we look for that we know we're going to be able to be successful with in a win-win relationship uh, just a few of, of what makes a perfect client for us if they've got uh, more than three to five employees if they are they have a, a, a product or service that they actually perform if they're local in the Collin County area because we like to go on location and, and take some of those uh, pictures and photos um, they this type of business owner understands that marketing is not expensive but it's an investment and obviously it's our job to get them a return uh, on this in investment um, they what they the owner prefers to work on the business and not necessarily in the business and nothing wrong with uh, with mowing yards or fixing toilets not I'm not talking down up upon that but I'm talking about working with companies that where the owner is more looking at vision and, and looking at forecasting and not necessarily about just being so busy you know mowing the yard or, or, or fixing the toilet uh, another thing is that they have they have happy employees, and why is this important? Um, because typically businesses that have uh, happy employees have a, a great service and great rapport, and they're doing well in the community. So um, if they have disgruntled employees, you know, typically that's a business owner that I probably don't want to work with. So we, I look for for those kinds of things. So I, I highly encourage you to to take out a pen and paper and just list down what makes what what who is my ideal client once you have that then you can start peeling back and go what kind of content resonates well with them where do they hang out what what accounts do they follow what do they do on the weekends and really dig into that client persona because again if you send out a generic message to everyone it's not going to resonate as much as if you hone in and narrow down your target audience and really speak to them and i guarantee you start to see real results that affect your bottom line.